What's good, beautiful people? It's your girl, Ashley Janae, and it's time for another Friday Five. Thank you so much for stopping by, and welcome to everyone that's new on the channel. In the last 28 days or so, I've noticed that I've had over 300 new subscribers, and I genuinely, genuinely want to let you know I appreciate you. I see you. Thank you so very much. Make sure if you find value in this video and this content that I'm bringing you, go ahead, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe, turn on those post notifications so you don't miss a thing. Let's jump right into it. This week's book is by a man named James Allen. This book was written in the early 1900s, but it's so important today. It's called As a Man Thinketh. Now, this book, as it sounds, is all about the mind. It's about learning how to recognize what's going on inside of your emotions, your mood, and things like that recognizing how to focus on your inner being and paying attention to how it affects everything around you not just your home life but your business your relationships etc so it's really about being intentional about what you think about because your thoughts become things the things that you think about the most become your reality and it's really amazing how the author puts so many of our daily routines, actions, and thoughts into perspective in a way that you can really tangibly see how certain decisions and certain actions have affected your everyday life. So I encourage you, go pick up this book, soak it all in, and really see what this author has to share with you. Up next is a song. Now, this song is brought to you by a young woman named Jade Nova, and I hope that you've heard of her by now, but if not, you're going to very soon. I first found her on IG a year or so ago, and she is an amazing singer. A lot of people know her for the Beyonce impersonations that she does, but in and of herself, she has an amazing voice. She just released an album called All Blue, and I'm telling you, the whole album is a vibe. The song that I want to highlight is called Intuition. This song is amazing and I encourage you to listen to it at least five times on repeat because it's going to be a lot to soak in. Jade Nova gives you the vibe of like an Erica Badu with wisdom and creativity meets like a Janelle Monet. It's just amazing. You have to hear it and experience it for yourself but go check out that song she has it on youtube it's streaming on every major platform i listen to almost all of my music on title so i i encourage you to definitely go check it out it's called intuition by jade nova up next the business that i want to shout out is called personal fitness navigators now this is a gym but it's so much more than a gym and the reason why i love it is because it focuses on holistic health and wellness. So this is not the type of gym, which I've had memberships to gyms where you can go in there and they're giving you pizza and snacks at the front, candies and things like that. This is not that kind of gym. This is a personalized, individualized experience. So this gym focuses on your actual fitness goals as well as your nutrition. You get an individualized nutrition program. So it's not an open gym membership as you would get at a lot of different places. It's one-on-one -on -one coaching, either in individual sessions or group sessions, but it's amazing. It's located here in the Columbus, Ohio area in Bexley. You have got to check it out. They have everything from heavy ropes, medicine balls, to the rings that hang down, along with all the other standard gym equipment that you would get anywhere else. It's amazing. Personal Fitness Navigators and Bexley, go check them out. Give them a call. Just tour the place. Once you go in there, just how it's set up, just the whole mood, the environment, the atmosphere. The owner is really awesome, very personable, and will set you up with whatever you need, okay? Up next, my self-care routine always includes sleep. Now, one of the reasons why I have to include sleep in my personal self-care routine now is because I didn't used to in the past. As an entrepreneur, 
And just as an overall hustler, my whole life, I always felt like I didn't need a lot of sleep. Sleep when you die. That was like a, a, a quote a lot of people used to like to throw around. It was like, ah, oh, who needs sleep? I'm young. But lack of sleep will really take a major toll on your body in so many ways. Not only does it allow you, not allow you to be as sharp as you want to be, but it also decreases your willpower when you're groggy, when your body is tired. So that affects your health, that affects your energy, that affects your focus. And if you're an entrepreneur, if you're a person that's chasing down any type of dream or goal, if you're trying to get your fitness or your health together, you cannot do it without Excuse me. You cannot do it without the proper amount of sleep. It is so extremely important. Don't put it off. Don't do, oh, I'm going to only get three or four hours of sleep and then that's going to make you more productive. You'll be counterproductive and you'll be less likely to reach your goals in the manner that you want to reach them because you cannot focus and make the most of the time that you have. It's not so important how many hours that you have in a day, but what you do with the hours that you have in a day. So go ahead, get those two or three extra hours of sleep and then grind, grind, grind when you get up like you need to. You're not missing anything if you sleep a few extra hours and give your body and your mind the rest that it needs, okay? And last but not least, I will leave you a quote by the author James Allen himself. And it's such a simple quote and it's such a simple reality, but we need this reminder because a lot of times we can feel like things are happening to us, but he always has you shift your perspective to see what you're doing and how you're affecting yourself. Here's the quote is very simple. He said, in all human affairs, there are efforts and there are results. And the strength of your effort is the measure of your results. It's that simple. What you give is what you get. What you reap is what you sow. What you sow. And it's, it's that age old wisdom. But wisdom is nothing if we don't put it in to practice. That's it for this week. Thank you so much for tuning in. Again, if you found value in this video, smash that like button. Go ahead, turn on your post notifications because I know you already subscribed. Come along with me for this journey. We're doing everything over here about personal development, self-mastery, entrepreneurship. Let's get it. Thank you guys. I love you guys so much and I appreciate you. I'll see you in the next, next video, family. Peace.